Hi, in this video I'm going to go over game four from Prep Test 65 um, and a number of the questions. Okay, so um, with this one we have a television programming director scheduling a three hour block of programs beginning at 1 p.m. So that's 1 p.m., uh, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. That'd be one, two, three hours. Um, the programs that are to fill this time block include an hour-long program called Generations. Okay, so G is that's an hour long. Um, and for half-hour uh, programs, um, Roman Sundown, Terry, and Waterloo. So uh, they're half the size. So uh, Roaming, Sundown, Terrence, and Waterloo. Cool. Um, the programs will be shown one after the other, each program shown exactly once. The schedule must meet with the following constraints. Generation starts on the hour rather than the half hour. So we could have generation starting at one, generation starting at two, or generation starting at three. Okay. Um, and then we would have the half hours fill the other blocks. So that is, that seems handy to me because I'm the most concerned about the twist in this game with one of our programs being twice as long as the other ones. So if I can lock that in, that's going to be really helpful. Uh, Terry starts at the half hour rather than the hour. So, I mean, it would only create three more scenarios if I were to do that. So this would be G, G, G. Uh, sorry, T starts on the half hour, so T there or there, T here or here, and T here or here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some colors just to make this a little bigger. Let's try to read to kind of see what I'm doing. Maybe this makes it easier. I hope it does. Um, okay, and then R is shown earlier than S. Well, that I'm not going to be able to write in quite yet. Um, if W is earlier than Terry, it's shown immediately before Terry. So, yeah, W, 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 K, that makes sense. But here, if W is before, which it is, it has to be because T is last, it would be immediately before. Here, immediately before. And then what is it? R is before, same here, immediately before. Uh, R is earlier than S, yeah. So these ones, we can say here, W could be in any of these spots. Um, so W would be kind of wild in these scenarios, and R would be before S. So that would give us all of the options, um, which is not a bad place to start with this game. Uh, we only have five players. We get really clear uh, division with the most problematic player. Um, and then again, quite clear division with another player. Uh, I'd say this is, this is the way to go. So let's look at the questions now. Question 19, if R is the second program. Okay, so here T would be the second program. R could be the second program here. It's the second program here. Uh, yeah, looks like that only happens when G is the first program. And uh, each of the following could be true except, so R is second, could Sundown be third? Yes. Could it be fourth? Yes. Uh, could Terry be the fifth program? Yes. Could Waterloo be the third program? No. Could Waterloo be the fifth program? Yep, up here it could be. So D is the correct answer for question 19. 21, Generations is the third program. So that's this scenario here where it starts at two o'clock. 
Um, so the third program doesn't start at three. The third program either starts at two o'clock, as it would be here, or it starts at 2.30, like in this scenario. So if G is third, one, two, three, then which one of the following could be true? Uh, roaming is second. Nope, not going to happen. Uh, roaming is fifth. No, roaming can never be fifth because it has to be before sundown. Sundown is fourth. So here could sundown be fourth. We could have R, S, W. Yep. Yeah. So C, or 21, 22, which one of the following cannot be true? Uh, sundown immediately before generation. Nope, we have an example of that. That's possible. Um, B, Waterloo is showed immediately before roaming. Uh, I think that one's going to be a problem, right? Yep, can't make that happen. So B, 422. Because generations right before sundown isn't an issue. That could happen here. Uh, R, shown immediately before T could happen here or here or here. Um, T immediately before W could happen here or here. Uh, yeah, so it has to be B. 23, we have a substitution question. All right, so we are um, substituting for the rule that gave us our structure in the first place. Um, A, generations isn't shown immediately before Terry. Now that does have to be true. However, if that's true, uh, we could still have uh, generations shown at the half hour. It wouldn't prevent uh, what the original rule prevented. So A would be too permissive. It wouldn't be restrictive enough. B, generations is either the first program or the fifth. Mm, generations could be the third program. So. This one um, is not true, um, it's not restrictive enough. Um, it would be uh, too permissive, but it also would be, oh sorry, this one isn't too permissive, this one is too restrictive. Sorry, so A is too permissive, B is too restrictive, um, it doesn't pass the must be true test, so that doesn't have to be true. So C, generations is neither second nor fourth, that does it, right? Generations is first, third, or fifth, not second or fourth. Yeah, C would be a perfect substitution.